go back ahead and then swing. How, how, did you, how did you see those last five, ten minutes? Yeah, we, we're really disappointed in there. Um, it felt like there was only one team going to win the game. And that was us. I think we was putting a lot of pressure on. I think we had a couple of good chances, and it it just felt like we we're going to go and win the game. And then we've been hit with a a really unfortunate goal from a set piece. We just pushed it back, and how that goes in, I'll, I'll you know it'll keep me awake tonight. I'll never know. Um, so yeah, there's a we're really disappointed in there. I think after the first 15 minutes, we played really well, and probably you know I don't know how we've we've lost that game. Overall, um, what would you like? Well, I think, like I say, the first 15 minutes last week, I think we spoke about the, the first 45 against New York, and we came out with a similar kind of um, mentality for the first 15. We weren't close enough. We weren't, uh, our intensity was a little bit down. But they snapped out of that, and I thought we ended the half with a lot of control. The goal came at a really good time for us. Um, and then we asked the lads to carry that in the second half, and they did. And before they made the subs and the first goal, they ne I never really felt like we were threatened. I just thought we was in ascendancy. I thought we moved the ball really well. I think we mixed up our game to hit Christian, who caused a lot of problems there. I thought he was outstanding. Um, but we tried to play as well, so a mix of trying to play through, but also hit Christian at the right times. And um, yeah, I think that we, you know, the performance level was good. And like we spoke about in the week, you don't always get what you deserve. Jason, uh, Pete, thanks for speaking with us. No problem. Yeah, well, we, they, they've been playing a diamond, so we, we felt that the space was going to be either side of their diamond. So it was a tactical decision to, to have Chris Turkin, who's played in that half space, as we call it. Uh, he's played there before. And Ruan, he's, he gives us pace and, uh, and you know, on the, on the top line. So we thought by Ruan playing a little bit higher, he, you know, he would give us that threat with a pace. Um, and it worked for the first goal with, you know, the cross for, for Christian. I thought, he, you know, he, he did cause him a threat. So that was our decision behind that. And it was a little bit unusual, but we was brave with that. Um, we all agreed as a coaching staff and we thought that was the right thing to do. Charlie? They can bring Carlos Hill and Dizzy out to the bench. Is there a concern about depth, maybe, for you guys to be able to respond in those situations? This week, maybe, but I mean, we had good players on the bench as well, with Yamil, who's coming up to speed, and Taxi Fontas. It was a big bonus to have Taxi back. He's worked really hard to get back a little bit sooner than we expected. Um, so, we, we, and Nigel was on the bench today, Roberto. So, we had good options on the bench as well. But, yeah, I mean, the, the quality they brought on the bench and then to score within 30 seconds, I think, of bringing Carlos on, you know, was a bit of a, a, bit of a blow. But, uh, you know, we've got, good de we've got a better squad this year with depth. Um, We've just had a difficult week with a couple of went away international and we've picked up a few knocks this week and that's just depleted us a little bit. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it was nice for them to be able to bring them on, I'm sure. Back to Steve. Well, the influence that Taxi had was, was pretty profound. What, how much, I guess he was limited to about 20 tonight. What, what do you see in the next couple of weeks or what do you expect? Yeah, I mean, we, we had Taxi down to, to be out before that. And like I say, credit to Taxi, he's worked hard you know, with the medical staff who you know are really good here to, to come back a little bit early. So we knew he was limited to, to 20, maybe just a little bit over with the injury time tonight. So we knew we, we only had that option with him. And I mean, we saw him come and play off the front of Christian. He had a couple of chances. You know, We know he's got that explosivity in the box where he can drive at people and get shots off both feet. And I thought he was going to score. I think he had a couple of really good half chances. And, you know, he, um, ta you know Taxi's a very... Very, very good player, and, and to have him back in the available for selection will be really good. Just a few more, Mario. Well, uh, having three homegrown starting tonight in Jackson, uh, Ted, and uh, Jacob Green. And Jacob Green. Yeah. Uh, how do you evaluate their performances? We, we, we've got really good um, young players here, and the manager has always been at every club. You know, the clubs that we've been at, he's been always been very willing to put them in, regardless of age. If they're playing well and they deserve to play, they play. So you know, it's no surprise to see three, or you know, it might be more in the future. Players play on merit as well. Jacob did really well on his debut last week and deserved to play uh, in a slightly different position at left back. I thought he did really well. He, he cramped up at the end, but I think he, you know, he did really well. He's got, you know, he's good one v one defender. He's got. Good Good athletic abilities, and I think he, you know, he, like I say, he did well today. Jackson and Ted give us a little bit of, um, a little bit of flair going forward. It was Jackson's first start. Um, he's been waiting for that chance. He's been really good in training all the way since pre-season, and I thought again they both did really well. Um, it's hard to fault many of them tonight because, you know, the sense in there is a real disappointment. It's not a. Sometimes it's easy to lose when you play poorly because you can look at it and, and find loads of things. But today, you know, we've just been in there, and it's a disappointing changing room because we've actually played really well. Um, and the three young lads really contributed to that. All right, that's good. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you.